kissed and left you all alone And you're shaking to the bone How could she be so cruel? Now you're older, still young And but you're playing the playing the cool Hi, I'm Corey Patry. And I'm Holly Lapper. We're from Spartan Youth Radio, and right now we are joined by Howie Burrow. Yes, sir. How are you today, sir? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Good. How was your trip in? Uh, it, was, it was good. It was a nice drive in. Yeah. Uh, it's about five hours, I guess, at the most from Toronto, and uh, the weather was good. The roads were dry, so that's good. great. Okay, so what jobs do you have regarding this Stanley Cup? Uh, regarding the Stanley Cup, I guess it's my responsibility to get the, the cup to uh, every location that it needs to be uh, at uh, within, uh, I guess, a certain time schedule. Uh, in the summertime, I, uh, I'm fortunate enough to travel with uh, the players and they have their one day with the cup. And uh, I guess it's just to, to get the cup back and forth because uh, we have such a heavy, heavy workload, heavy schedule with this cup. Uh, the, the winning team only gets the cup for about 100 days in the summer. so. Uh, we have to get to as many players and coaches and uh, equipment managers and, and scouts, etc., you know, within that certain time period. Right, that's awesome. So, what brings you to Espinal, Ontario, and surrounding areas? Well, I guess we were invited up here uh, by the chief uh, from uh, Whitefish uh, River, and uh, you know they wanted to bring it up uh, to share the cup with uh, the community there and uh, have all the people come in and uh, you know have sort of their day with the cup at least a few hours anyway. So, and I think it was a, a big success. What do you think this means for our community's exposure? Uh, it's got to help the community for sure. I mean, everybody is so excited to see the cup when it's here and uh, to have it come to a small community. Uh, sort of uh, makes that community seem a lot bigger because uh, normally you would uh, only get a chance to see the cup either on TV or you'd have to go to Toronto to see it. So to be able to bring it into a smaller community like this, I think it's uh, really good for everybody. And I'm sure everyone's wondering, but how did you become the cup keeper? Uh, well, you know, for me, uh, I started about eight years ago at the Hockey Hall of Fame as a volunteer. And uh, later on in the spring, I guess, I started working some part-time hours in the museum. And eventually I got an opportunity to start traveling with uh, different trophies and display systems. And uh, two years ago, I guess, uh, the opening came up uh, with the cup and uh, I was available. So it was a great opportunity and uh, I'm very happy to do it. That's great. I'm sure that's awesome, eh? Oh, it's <laughs> pretty really awesome. Exciting. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, there's not too many people that have had the opportunity to do that. So uh, yeah. it's quite a thrill, really. When, re when you were younger, growing up watching hockey, I assume, yes. did you ever imagine you'd be the one holding the cup? Oh, no. Never. Ever. <laughs> no, I, I didn't even play hockey as a kid, really. Uh, I, I do now. I play in uh, some recreation leagues. Uh, but uh, never, ever imagined that I would have an opportunity to actually be with it on a, on a regular basis, no. That's amazing. Thank you for having me. Thank you for yeah. coming. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Corey Patry. And I'm Holly. We're from Spartan Youth Radio, and I'm signing out. And remember, we're all kinds of different. Hi, I'm Corey Patry. And I'm Holly Lapper. We're from here from Spartan Youth Radio, and right now we have Chief Shining Turtle. Hi. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? Very good, thank you. Now, right here we have the Stanley Cup, and I know it's a big part of your community to have this here. Yep. Um, what kind of exposure does this bring to you? Um, hope. It's all about dreaming, right? Yeah. So that's the exposure we want to bring, not only to uh, the good citizens of Whitefish River and our youth, but our Spartan family here in Espinal. Yeah. Are you pleased with that? Yeah, very pleased, actually. This is like a dream come true for me right now, sitting next to the Stanley Cup. So how Cup. do you feel about that? Oh, I feel ecstatic. I am like, I was shaking the whole day when I found out I was going to be able to do this interview with you. Right, so dreams can come true. Yeah. Right, so we have that today. Exactly. Excellent. Yeah. And uh, in your community, we know you've been having some hard times, but you said that the Stanley Cup does bring you hope. Yep. Do you really enjoy that? Like, did everyone have a good time today? Oh, um, to? yeah, we had a fantastic day. I don't think we could have painted a better picture for the day. The weather was perfect. 
the uh, youth were ecstatic about having the Stanley Cup in our community, and they dream the same dreams that you and I have about a better future, a brighter future, a future filled with hope and optimism and lots of pride. Spartan pride. <laughs> So I see you're a Boston fan. Yes. The Stanley Cup champions for last year. Yep. Now my team obviously hasn't seen it since 67, but how do you feel about being able to wear that Jersey Pride besides the Stanley Cup? Um, I'm a great fan of Bobby Orr, so, uh, and the, the recent addition of the Boston Bruins uh, brings great pride into my heart about the chance to win the Cup, and there'll be a day when the Toronto Maple Leafs will be able to rise that banner too. So yeah, hopefully soon. Not too far away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you a question while we're here. Okay. I mean, okay. Let's reverse roles for a little bit, right? All right? What does the Stanley Cup mean to you? Um, as a youth, as a youth, of, a Spartan youth. To me, it means heritage. It means something that we have fought for. Like we have created our own sport in hockey. We have our own heritage. We have like many Canadian winners on this cup. So to me, it really means Canada. It means Canada. Fantastic. Great. Yeah. I'm I glad actually you have to agree with Corey on that. Um, Anything Stanley else? Cup to me kind of represents Canada and being Canada's game it makes me feel proud to be a Canadian. Excellent. Yes. That's great. I'm glad you guys got that feeling today because that's exactly what we wanted to do, right? Inspiration yeah. and hope and the chance that we all belong together. You feel we belong together? Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so oh, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the interview. Thank uh, you. I'm Corey Patrick from Spartan Youth Radio signing off. And I'm Holly Lapper and remember we're all kinds of different.